children now we will study about the carbon cycle it is given on page number 85 of your textbook carbon cycle as we had studied the various cycles transfer of nutrients we are a strophic levels okay pyramids all these things you studied there you came to know that the things are transferred from one place to another and that's why it remains or equilibrium is maintained are you getting so whatever the carbon dioxide that plants need during the process of photosynthesis that carbon dioxide should again pass to the atmosphere then only plants can get it again and again are you getting it it means the cyclic flow is very very necessary everything whatever we have it should be passed to the other then it should be passed from second to the third if cycle is there then only it will be available and equilibrium will be maintained you know water cycle you had studied it from fifth standard what happens in the water cycle water which is present in the reservoir due to the heat of the sun water evaporates forms the cloud then these clouds when condenses what happens they precipitates again in the form of rain it means it is available in the form of water this cycle continues and that's why life is possible just like this that a carbon cycle is a very important necessary process the circulation and recycling of carbon from the atmosphere to living organisms and after their death back to the atmosphere is called carbon cycle see the complicated process what happens the carbon present in the atmosphere atmosphere in the form of carbon dioxide okay it is given to the living organism who is taking that living uh, carbon dioxide from the atmosphere plants then plants prepare the food by the process of photosynthesis then plants give the oxygen that is used by again living organism that is animal when all the living organisms die after their death it is passed on back to the atmosphere this is called as a carbon cycle okay abiotic carbon atoms are circulated and recycled into biotic form mainly through photosynthesis and respiration just now i had explained you or you can come to know this by the process that abiotic carbon atoms means which carbon carbon which is carbon dioxide which is present in the atmosphere or after the death of living organism the carbon which gets accumulated in the earth that is called as abiotic carbon atoms then they are recycled into the biotic forms biotic form means our food atoms our food atoms contains the prote uh, proteins fats and the carbohydrates all these food atoms contains the carbon so this is called as a biotic carbon okay so during the process of photosynthesis and respiration abiotic carbon is circulated and recycled into its biotic form hence we say that the carbon cycle is one of the biogeochemical cycle biological earth then again chemical are you clear about means biotic components are there it is present in the soil earth geo and the chemical substances like carbohydrates proteins fats so that's why carbon cycle is also said to be one of the important biogeochemical cycle now come to this diagram how the plants convert that carbon dioxide into carbohydrate you know just see the plant respiration in plant 
respiration in animal see here what is shown here first of all we will start with sun sun gives the sunlight and plants after that come to the plants plant is a biotic one that plants are preparing the food by the process of photosynthesis so during that plants use the atmospheric carbon dioxide which carbon dioxide plant is using see here see the arrows plants are using the atmospheric carbon dioxide carbon dioxide obtained from the factories carbon dioxide obtained from plants and animals during exhalation you know that during respiration we give out carbon dioxide so all that carbon dioxide is used by the plants during the process of photosynthesis are you clear and plants prepare the food so plants prepare the food in the form of proteins fats and carbohydrates this prepared food is used by the herbivorous animals plant what are the herbivorous animals animals that feed on plants okay these herbivorous animals are used by the carnivores are you clear about carnivores carnivores feed upon the herbivores in this way biotic carbon is transferred from plants to herbivores and then to the carnivores and from carnivores to the apex consumers okay so in this way biotic carbon is transferred but after the death all the types of consumers are decomposed by decomposers like bacteria and fungi and what happens when it is decomposed carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere this released atmosphere is again used by living organism who is using it after the decomposition when from the soil carbon dioxide is going up that carbon dioxide is used by the plants for its photosynthesis process in this way carbon is continuously passed on from one living organism to the another and after the death of living organism carbon goes to the atmosphere and again it is used by the living organisms this is the cyclic process transfer of carbon from by or living organism to the non living this cycle continues it is called as a carbon cycle are you clear about this children it is very effective do you know the importance of carbon cycle carbon cycle is very effective in maintaining the temperature okay carbon dioxide maintain the temperature of the atmosphere the equilibrium of oxygen is possible only because of the carbon dioxide sorry carbon dioxide or 